it, YouTube? It's your girl, Asia. And it's your boy, BJ. And we, we back, back like we, we never left. left. Yeah, we are back in the building, ready to do what we love to do. We're going to be checking out The Departed tonight. I'm ready to check this one out. This is actually one that's been suggested to us time and time again. Mm -hmm. And uh, we put it in the poll and it won unanimously. Yeah, it did. So shout out to the Patreon fam. Thank y'all so much <clears throat> for the input and all the feedback y'all always leaving us, y'all. We be looking, okay? We be listening, yes, too. Yes, okay? yes, yes. Um, so, when we did um, Wolf of Wall Street, everybody was like, if you think Leonardo DiCaprio was great in Wolf of Wall Street, they was like, y'all got to check out The Departed. Okay, so he yeah. must be in this movie, too. Neither one of us have, has ever seen this mm -hmm. movie before. So I... Literally don't even have a clue what about two thousand and six. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, y'all. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to get into it. Like, it must be a super awesome movie because I saw a lot of people strongly suggest that we. Need Everybody to said it's a must see. Yeah. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Y'all can tap into the Patreon and check out all of our unedited, uncut videos, behind the scenes footage, and Patreon polls. And access to all of our TV series. <laughs> I'm like, I'm missing something all over on Patreon, y'all. I'm going to give you two thumbs up. <laughs> Media Asia Films. Yeah, that's me. Boston some years ago. I don't want to be a product of my environment. I want my environment to be a product of me. No one gives it to you. You have to take it. You got to take it. Don't make me have to come down here again for this. It won't happen again, Mr. C. You Johnny Sullivan's kid? Yeah. You ever want to earn a little extra money, you come by L Street. Good meal, Stead. You go for that sort of thing, I don't know what to do for you. Man makes his own way. Guineas from the North End try to tell me what to do. Something maybe happened to him. <laughs> Oh! Jeez, she fell funny. <laughs> oh my God. When I was your age, they would say you could become cops or criminals. When you're facing a loaded gun, what's the difference? Hmm? Terminal ballistics is the Fail. Look. Begin. And he ended up being a cop. Brianna. Police Academy. Forget it. I, I, I feel father like... father's a janitor. His son's only a cop. He, he shouldn't do that job. <laughs> you never finish anything. You finish the police course, you're oh, taken look. care of again, baby. So after graduation, I get a blowjob again. That's great. Your mother must be a wonderful woman. <laughs> Fuck yourself. Put it this way, you're a black guy in Boston. You don't need any help from me to be completely fucked. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Congratulations to all our new troopers. Thank you. You are dismissed. Sullivan, sign the plain clothes right out of the gate. Congratulations. Yeah. Right. School's out. This is not the regular police. This is the state police. Fire! Sir, yes, sir! Sir, yes, sir! Sir, yes, sir! Sir, yes, sir! Get the fuck down right now! Get yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, Special investigation. <clears throat> Whoop the fucking deal. We won't be working together, but I like to see everybody. You know what we do here? My section? Sir, yes, sir. I have an idea. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's say you have no idea and leave it at that, okay? You have an idea about what we do. We would not be good at what we do, would we? We would be cunts. You calling us cunts? Staff Sergeant Dignam has a style of his own. Why don't you tell us about your Uncle Jackie? Mm -hmm. What about Uncle Jackie? He was a carpet layer for Jordan Marsh. He got popped by the cash for 95. We found his body out by the airport. Why are you pretending to be a cop? Mm. This is an elite unit. And by organized crime in this city, you know who we mean. That's Jackie Costigan. That's an old picture. Jackie met his demise. Last known photograph. <laughs> Damn. He got messed up. But of course, the rock star, you know who. Mmm. Oh. Damn, he's all criminals except for the old man, huh? You're upper middle class, turn the weeks, then you're dropping your eyes and you're hanging in the big bad Southie projects. Oh, he burned him up. You no know, fucking car. You have fourteen hundred on your SATs, kid. You're an astronaut, not a statie. You don't have much family. I don't have any family. 
Well, there's a great view of the state house. Look at that. So you're a cop. A state police detective. And are you a married state police detective? This is kind of a sort of a big place. And I have a co-signer. Yeah, just, just, just give me the papers. <laughs> Damn. You'll be convicted of a crime. You do enough jail hey. time to convince anyone you'd be on probation, see a court ordered shrink. If you want to serve the Commonwealth, this is your chance. You've already pretended to be a costigan from South Boston. Every weekend. From the South. Time. Do it again. For me. He what you will call a Southie. Billy? Yeah, it's me. Good Aunt to Kathy, see how are you? you? Uh, why are we graced with your presence? <laughs> the mother's dead. I'm sorry, sorry for your troubles. In your line of work, if I gave you, like what, say 10,000? What could I get back? <laughs> <laughs> you corrupt bastard. man. It must be my cousin. That's the thing I would say. I would say the same thing. We're not even supposed to be doing this <laughs> shit this close to the little stuff. Says who? Says him. Says uh, Costello. No, 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 he's no cop. Well, I knew his father. I liked his Uncle Jackie better. Cranberry juice? It's a natural diuretic. My girlfriend drinks it when she's got a period. What do you get, your period? <laughs> oh! I'm the guy that tells you there are guys you can hit, and there's guys you can't. Now, that's not quite a guy you can't hit, but it's almost a guy you can't hit. I know your family. You make one more drug deal with that idiot fucking cousin of yours. And I'll mm. forget your grandmother was so nice to me. I'll cut your fucking nuts off. Bam. What are you drinking? A cranberry juice. What is it, your period? <laughs> Get him a cranberry you got You got a UTI. <laughs> he just wants some cranberry juice. My people are out there. You're not gonna see him. And you're not gonna hear about him, except through me or Captain Queenan. Unfortunately, this shithole has more fucking leaks than the Iraqi Navy. Fuck yourself. I'm tired from fucking your wife. How's your mother? Good. She's tired from fucking my father. <laughs> Sheesh. Do you have anyone in with Costello presently? Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe fuck yourself. My theory on feds is they're like mushrooms. Feed them shit and keep them in the dark. <laughs> keep them in the dark. <laughs> That's crazy. Nice guy. Don't judge him from this meeting alone. You making a house call? Have I seen you professionally? No, no. no I, know, I know who you are, though. Uh, you're a mental health professional. Mm -hmm. I'm one more up. Oh, fancy policeman. Why does she look familiar? I'm actually going to law school also. I went to UMass. I, I wasn't insulting you. Well, I thought you were, so now you gotta buy me dinner. Maybe you can shoot someone and then you'd have to see me professionally. I'll stab someone in the heart with a fucking ice pick <laughs> if it gets me dinner with you. No, no, that's all right. I'm a detective. I'll find you. No, sir, I'm just joking. I need a guy. I don't remember where, where we've seen her at. It may, it may dawn on me yeah. dawn on me in the few. She looks real familiar. Mm-hmm. This is Friday, Babu. Keep on calling me Babu. It's Sing, motherfucker. I'm trying to help you. Keep on telling me I'm your friend. Yeah. You don't even know my fucking name. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you fellas come from Providence? Is that your business where we come from? You what whatever, in cannolis or something? Ooh. I ain't never seen somebody get beat up in a cooler. Oh, no. Dang, he beat him into the refrigerator. So what's it like having people find themselves in your office all day long? Why, why does that make you uncomfortable? No? No, no, no. No, I'm not on your couch. <laughs> well, you know what Freud said about the Irish. Yeah, I do. Oh, I think I know where she's from. <laughs> what's the movie called? The movie with The Conjuring. She was like the mom. Oh, yeah, she was the wife. That's her, right? Yeah, it is her. That is her. You're up shit's creek with a client list full of Mick cops. Opening up, good luck to you. Yeah. Sometimes I just want people to forget about their personal bullshit and do their jobs. Including the criminal? Well, if they don't do their jobs, you don't have one. I'll always have a job. I'll just arrest innocent people. Man, you are trouble. No, I'll arrest you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. 
You met my friend, Mr. French. Oh. Come with me. Wait. <laughs> Please? Mm. Uh oh. I'm gonna have my associates search you. Search me for what? Contra fucking band. He better do like he told. <laughs> I I'm giving up his shoes. How'd he go? He didn't complain. That was his problem. Who said he had a problem? I just said he had a fucking problem. Flip it. Mm -hmm. ah! Oh, even it. Makes me curious to see you in this neighborhood. He's clean. Damn! Oh my gosh. No! Are you still a cop? No! 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 I am not a fucking cop! All right, all right. Oof. Okay, you'll be all right. It was necessary. <laughs> was it necessary? I saw a dead guy. I think I'm having post-traumatic stress. Can I meet you for lunch? Who's the lead detective? He's a lux. That's why he changed the chip in the cell phone. He living on both sides of the fence. Yeah. If you'll indulge me. Uh-uh. Who hand is that? The point I make of look at anything and make something out of it. Put it downstairs here. And thank you. Whoa. Send this to his wife. Oh, he wearing a wire. That was quick. He was dead already. I'd take that off too. <laughs> Hell no. Where's your fucking license? Now, you're not being run by us, you're being run by someone else. <laughs> that means some undesirable elements in the fellow's area. <laughs> oh, oh. fucking cigarette. Hey, Jimmy Banks. He was re. I don't know. What the fuck are you doing? Small surveillance subunit, but it's mine. And I didn't take this job in order to fuck it up, let anyone else fuck it up. We think we might have a problem. We think Costello's got a rat in the state police. Do we have direct access to Queenan's undercovers? No, but I'm working on that. He's direct, though, isn't he? <laughs> I got promoted. Yeah, he's one of Costello's crew. Yeah, we're getting to Warren. Turn that off. He doesn't know what the fucking lawyer looks like. Whose briefcase is this? All right. <laughs> you're my attorney. What do you think? I think you need to call your mother, tell her you're not going to be home for supper. Camera's off. They're suiting up for a raid right now. So make the call. <laughs> he don't believe him. I, I, I... Mom, I'm not going to make it home for supper. Bye. Everybody out. I'm talking about like, we got to get out of Dodge. Everything. Everything must go. Oh. Look how he looking. Run the last number he called. That's his house. Shh. Abra fucking get Abra. We got a warrant. Oh. 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 So do you want to talk about last night? You know, it's all right. Guys tend to make too big a deal out of it. Do you lie? Let's keep it with you. Talk about how you feel. How I feel. at his mother's house. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, he's ain't gonna hurt you. What the hell? What did he just do? Did him in with the soda pop bottle. Wake the fuck up. It's, it's almost like he tried to use it as a silencer to a degree. Do you see cops? That's part of what I do. Do they all, uh, they all come in here and cry? Sometimes they do, if they've had to use their weapons. They signed up to use their weapons, but they watch enough TV so they know they have to weep. There is no one more full of shit than a cop. Hmm. It's an interesting perspective. I looked at your file. I, I see that you, you have a record of assault. That guy Jimmy Vags, whose jaw you broke, happens to work undercover for the Boston Police Department. It's been a year of this. I've had enough of this shit. Calm down, all right? You signed the papers, remember? Now, we're the only two people on the face of this earth that even know you're a cop. How about we just erase your file? 
Huh? Yeah. I better fuck. Fuck. I kill you. That was a joke. Just because you play a tough guy doesn't mean you are when you lace current fucking pussy. Oh. Okay. oh. He like, he's tired of it. The guy fucking murders somebody and you don't take him. What are you waiting for, honestly? I mean, do you want him to chop me up and feed me to the poor? No, yeah, well, that might stick. Will you shut up? That's a good question. I'm gonna die before everything happens. I need you to keep your ears open, all right? I think Costello's got a spy inside the special investigation unit. You, you serious? I'm afraid so. Have you heard anything like that? Oh, Jesus Christ. Hang tight for me, kid. We got this close. Damn. I just think we should have a few more meetings before we even talk about prescriptions. Look, look, I'm having panic attacks, all right? I haven't slept for fucking weeks. Is that true? Yeah, and you're gonna what? You're gonna, you're gonna close my file? I didn't Is that what you're gonna your do? File. Christ, yes, I mean, a guy okay. comes in here against every instinct of, of privacy. Why don't you just give me a bottle of scotch and a handgun to blow my fucking head off? You what, can what leave! What the fuck did I just put myself through? Man, he is over the edge. I would be losing my mind too. You working been, with somebody that's chopping out people's hands and passing it across the table and he'd have been pushed to the, the edge. last patient of the day, always the hardest one. Because you're tired and you don't give a shit. It's not supernatural. You know, I'm not just somebody that you have to see or they put you in jail. Thank you. I'm transferring you to another counselor. So you want to get a cup of coffee? Uh-uh. Not him too. Uh-oh. <laughs> him too, maybe. <clears throat> How long have you been with this guy? Four months. Four months. Almost four months. You love him? It's a pretty serious relationship, yeah. Uh-huh. Morning. Good morning. All right, we're not having this out. What? You don't see any pictures of where I came from. You know, not in the living room. We might have company. So that's the boyfriend. Oh, man. Hey, um, you better get organized, quick. Hey, last time I checked, I tipped you off, and you're not in jail. Getting the feeling we got a cop in my crew. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of getting that feeling too. You get me information on your crew. Get me social security numbers. If you could please, all the pedigree information so I can run it on my end. Don't disappoint me on this. There's some other guy will be putting their fat cock up little Miss Freud's ass. <laughs> Look how she looking. This man is like, whew. Oh, look at this though. I can't wait to wipe that fucking smirk right off of your face. Would you rather wipe my ass for me? <laughs> Costello walking around like he bulletproof or untouchable. Excuse me. Got a date with some angels. <laughs> he just rubbing it in too, like <laughs> you will never catch me. <laughs> you wanna you wanna wipe my butt? Oh. What the fuck do you do? I gotta pay Costello and wait for him to trade me to the FBI? Cause that's what he does. What the fuck are you talking about, FBI? Yeah. Oh my God, is that French out there? What the fuck did you just say about the FBI? Forget it, I'm high. I would never say what you thought I'd say what you oh! oh! Why do you think he never gets busted? Costello's a protected FBI informant. You gotta be kidding me. Not Costello. He is not. How? That's not true. The FBI. He's a protected fucking informant. Go around the back. I'll open the door. He he is still walking around. How got that, that? That? No. Ross well, wants your real name, your social and license number. What's he doing? Setting up IRAs? Just fill the fucking paper in. Put the forms in there. I don't know if this is how you spell citizen, but but fuck it, you know. <laughs> you know, okay, spell. Well, you said to stay here. Yeah, I'm not sitting here without getting a tetanus shot. There is no you are I like this Pink Floyd song. Remember this one? Yeah. <laughs> Pouring out there. I don't think that's a good idea for him to be there. I'm just saying. So, uh, we're moving out? We've still got three weeks left on the lease. It's me. Yeah, I know. Uh-oh. I think she like him better More. than... Yeah. And it's crazy. I don't even think they know about each other. No. 
And she probably don't know that they both cops. That's the name of the song. Comfortably known. Yeah. We are all convinced that Costello has at least one mole inside the Special Investigations Unit. Right. He will investigate everybody. We looked at all possible candidates. You have an immaculate record. Some people don't trust a guy with an immaculate record. I do. <laughs> I have an immaculate record. And he's the one. <laughs> It's definitely safe to say right now he is in too deep. Wait, wait, wait. With everybody looking up their own ass and you looking for yourself, I put my money on nobody finds nothing. He can't see his face. I can get the rat. You just gotta let me do it my way. Okay. Said the rat. I know you'll take care of business. I don't think he know he being followed. Dang, he's so close. He can't even positively ID him either. Ooh. That was too close for comfort right there. That was way too close. Man. Smell a rat. Mm. I'm sure by now you know I got an informer in my outfit. <laughs> you know, past days, situations like this, I kill everybody. Everybody that works for me. Wait. And I look around at your other guys. I mean, they're all murderers, right? And I think, could I do murder? And all I can answer myself is, what's the difference? Give them up to the Almighty. You accuse me once, I put up with it. You accuse me twice, I quit. You pressure me to fear for my life, and I will put a fucking bullet in your head, okay? Got something you wanna ask me? Oh, no. Bill, I got this rat, this annoying, heating fucking rat. Oh my god, the face. <laughs> is, this, is this something that you just wanna go ahead and ask me? Cause I'll give you the fucking answer. Look at me. I'm not the fucking rat, okay? Sure. Sure. What would you do? Frank, how many of these guys have been with you long enough to be disgruntled, huh? The question is, who thinks that they can do what you do better than you? The only one who can do what I do is me. You want to be me? I don't want to be you, Frank. Happy lies the crown. Hmm. Sort of thing. That's a fact. Yeah. You know what I like about restaurants? Restaurants. Did he? Look. Eat some, for Christ's sake. Ooh. You gotta exhale after all of that. God. Damn. That, that man is, is scary. Everybody knows you've been assigned here to find Costello's rat. They want to find a leak as much as you do. Two days ago, my guy damn near found out who Costello's rat is. Really? Oh. So did he get a look at the guy? Yeah. I mean, anything that could help us. Yeah. So you got any advice for me? Just, I mean, generally. Follow Costello, you'll find his rat. Yeah, this is Sergeant Sullivan. I want constant surveillance on Captain Queenan, starting right now. Why the fuck are we following Captain Queenan? I have to follow every lead. I just don't like it, Sarge. You don't feel right. I have reason to believe that Queenan is Costello's rat. He just went into a building down the waterfront. 344 wash. Oh, snap. 
He's getting spooky, Captain. He's losing his fucking mind. I don't know what we're doing here, boys. Sooner or later, he's gonna find out who I am, and he's gonna fucking kill me. He feel it. I feel it. I think we got him. I think Queenan's meeting with him right now. I know. All right, all right, listen to me. I'll get you out of this. Yeah? Hey, get the van, we're moving. Heavy work. Yeah. Billy, where the fuck are you? We found the rat. The address is 314 Washington Street. You got it? Oh, snap. You were followed. That's the building they in. Oh! Oh, right in front of them. What the fuck? Did you fucking see that? But he flew, he was flying like a pigeon for a second. Side, something just came off the building. He gotta go. Side, we can't get a visual. Do you want us to get out of the car when we get up on this thing? Where the fuck were you? What the fuck's going on? I Where came to meet you. Be? What the get fuck's in the going? Get in the back. You want us to pursue? No, do not pursue. Stay in the car. Fuck, fuck, fuck this. Oh, oh, uh, oh, oh. So I was somebody at Starbucks. He didn't want them to pursue them either, so he telling them to stay back and letting the other guys go in there, basically. Yeah, it's like he planned it from both ends. Right. Why the fuck were your guys following? That's internal investigations business. Ugh, fucking piece of shit! I can fucking investigate anybody I fucking want! And I got reason to believe that Quinny got killed by his own fucking undercover. That's a fucking lie! I need access to those files. Work with the tech guys to unlock those files. Dig them, take a leave of absence. Take a leave of what? Queenan is dead. I'm your boss now. Billy. Yeah. You know what I thought today? Our Danish shop today is a red. <laughs> and you've never been late in your life. And when I called you, I gave you the wrong address, but you showed up at the right one, didn't oh. you? Oh! Tell me why I didn't tell nobody. Tell me why. <laughs> He said 314. I thought I was tripping. <laughs> it was 34. It was 344. And he told him 314. And, but he showed up at the right place. He told him the wrong one. One of us had to die. With me, it tends to be the other guy. Now Dignam's gone. Forget about him. I don't know where he is. He's so hot for me, we give him a whiff of my ass, he'll crawl right in it. Just give him a whiff. I tried to call you a few times. Last phone to be called. That was. He better not answer that, and he knows he knows that guy is, is gone. Oh no! Oh, don't answer! Oh no, no! <laughs> Somebody say something. No. Oh. He like that's. He's like, that's it, I'm about to go. <laughs> that's it. <laughs> yeah, I'm out. He's like, that's it. Uh oh. Yeah. Call this number on a dead guy's phone. So it is you. Thank God you're all right. Who are you? This is Sergeant Sullivan. I'm taking over Queenan's unit. Let me talk to Dignam to confirm it. He's on a leave of absence. He's very upset. I think the best thing would be for you to come in. That's your answer. FBI informant. Police have confirmed that the body of the man found dead is that of Timothy Delahunt, an undercover policeman for the city of Boston. If you have I don't believe it. I spent all fucking night. Tell me how they find him so fast. I'm embarrassed. I still don't believe he was a cop. The cops are saying he's a cop. 
so I won't look for the cop. When I tell you to dump a body in the marsh, you dump him in the marsh. Not where some guy goes every Thursday to get a fucking blowjob! Don't laugh! <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, you gotta tell. So get rid of them. There's no need for you to go yourself. Get rid of the fucking tail! Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> stop, stop. I can give you Costello's destination. You know where he's going. Get rid of the tail, get special ops on standby. We'll take this prick tonight. Oh, man. Oh, they're in the right spot. Frank, Man. want you to check the back, all right? You go ahead. Man, all them keys, you can make a piano out of that. Cocksuckers. Oh, he didn't stand a chance. Savage. Uh oh. How the fuck did this happen? You're an FBI informant. <laughs> Grow up. Of course I talk to the FBI. <laughs> Do they know who I am? Nobody knows nothing. You know I'd never give you up. Uh. No, no, he didn't just I, pop back up. I didn't know he had it. Oh, he's gonna lay it down though. Oh! oh. Crap, crap. I got him! I got Costello here! Man, he's been knowing Frank his entire life. His whole life. Man, but he's he was. been waiting here a long time for you. You know that guy? Yeah. We were classmates in the academy together. Good to see you, Trooper. Now, how long were you undercover? Long fucking yeah. time. I can't even tell you the debt. I just want you to know I'll be recommending you for the Medal of Merit. I just want my identity back, all right? What are you going to do about Costello's rat in this building? I'm going to find the prick. <laughs> I'm going to find him. I'm going to arrest him. Listen, Bill, I got to run this in the other room. Give me two minutes. I'll have you out of here in no time. Wait a minute. What is it? Oh, look. You know, that's who he was following. Yep. All right, everything checks out. He like, oh, gosh. Tell me it's not so. <laughs> Damn. It's that easy. I know. I'm not, I'm not here for that, okay? Something I need you to keep. You open this if something happens to me, or if I call you and I tell you to open it. Please. I'm sorry to even show up here like this, you know? I, there's just no one else I could give it to. <laughs> there's no one else. I am... Well, I... Whatever you have to say, think about it real hard, all right? If you still want to tell me, you tell me in two weeks, okay? What happened in two weeks? <laughs> if he's still around in two weeks. I was dreaming I was dead. What's this? Really? Yeah. This little speck is a penis. It's a boy. <laughs> yeah, that was a big ass surprise. It is his baby. <laughs> 
is my question. Oh. Uh oh. We got a cop in my crew. Yeah, I know. I'm kind of getting that feeling, so I'm doing my. I thought I was the liar. Hey, I can explain that. I'm sure you can. Costello recorded everything, put all the tapes in a little box, and kept them with his lawyer. That was insurance. His lawyer came to me. Costello trusted me more than anyone. What do you want? At three o'clock. Where Queen and died. You keep your cell on. Oh. 344. Hey! 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 Fucking hey, answer. hey! Put the fucking gun down! I came here to talk some Hands. sense into you. All right, I can get you your money. Uh, uh. Well, what is this? A citizen's arrest? Blow me. And only one of us is a cop here, Bill. No one knows who Would you, you fucking are. Shut the fuck up! I erased you! You erased me, huh? Oh, yeah, go ahead, shoot a cop, Einstein. <laughs> shut the fuck up! Oh. I called you. You specifically. You know who I am. Where's Dignum? I told you to bring Dignum. Shoot this motherfucker. Drop your weapon to the floor and we'll discuss it. Look, he's Costello's rat. I got boxes of evidence proving it. Maybe you do. But right now I need you to drop the weapon. I'm taking him downstairs now. You know who I am. I can't wait to see you explain this to a fucking Suffolk County jury. This is gonna be fucking fun. It's always it's like calm on the elevator. <sighs> this fucking kill me. It's always calm on the elevator. And then when they get off. I am killing you. Oh, it's I am killing you. Oh shit. What? think you were the only one he had on the inside. Costello was gonna sell us to the FBI. It's you and me now, you understand? That's cold. I attempted to subdue Trooper Barrigan. He drew down on me and I was able to squeeze off one shot. I just wanna go on record. I'm recommending William Costigan for the Medal of Merit. Wow! Can you believe Ain't that? Ain't that cold-blooded? That's about... That's... Three cops. He literally got away with it. Wait, wait. Oh, but she got... What was in the envelope? Wow. That's my dog. <laughs> All right. Oh, look at it. <laughs> Damn. Wow. Whoa. That was cold blooded. <laughs> That was cold. You know what? You know what I was about to ask. Wait, but ne I, she never showed what was in the in the in the envelope though. So was that something maybe for her to go and turn in to let somebody know about him? Probably. Probably just all the everything that he probably like, like, <laughs> everything that he probably compiled Has as far as evidence to to, to kind of tie everything together. Probably. Yeah. Very possible as far as like tapes and CDs. I I really don't know what what it was, but it probably was something that was incriminating that's why she that's why he said hold on to it for like two weeks or whatnot if something happens to me then mm -hmm. then you're the only person that's gonna have this yeah. i wanted to see what was in it like read the letter or the note or the uh, i know when it <laughs> when this movie was like an hour and a half in i was wondering i was like who direct who's directing this movie and they just showed it at the end it was martin scorsese i was like because 
just the way that, the, the, I mean, you got like Matt Damon, you got Leonardo DiCaprio, Alec Baldwin, mm-hmm. Jack Nicholson. Yeah. Like you got like a lot of top heavy hitters all in this movie at one time. <laughs> L- like it, it really like broke down and really showed you like how corrupt and how dirty some cops can be and, and just playing like both sides. So it's almost like, I mean, the, the cops, they dirty. They just is. As, as big as criminals as the criminals that they working with. Right, right. But he played it so well, though. I mean, it's, it, he literally to a tea. played everybody against each other. But, like, I think the one that played the most was... was uh, Frank? Frank. Yeah. Because he was so the too. actual M- FBI informant the entire time. So it was like he was getting them all into this criminal activity and getting them to do all these things. Really... Ultimately, just to turn them in, to say, here, like, just sell us out to the FBI. So, I mean, at least I can keep saying I told you so. Like, I'm still, you know, the super informant. I'm, I'm still Mr. Untouchable at yeah, the end of the day. Yeah, which is why he got away with so much. Like, as much as he, he did get away with it. I'm like, why is it that he... To be 70 years old. He out here. He out here. Like, he outside. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and and just, and just walking around, like you, you no got care. you got cops walking up to you, knowing everything right. that you didn't did, but yep. knowing that they can't do anything about it. Exactly, exactly. Like that, that, that shows you like that 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 you re- you definitely reached the level of like complete boss level mm-hmm. as far as being able to have everybody kind of under your thumb on both ends of the law. Literally, literally. But I mean, shoot, they played a part of it. And what's and what's crazy is like they they made it all the way to the end before they actually really just started killing each other. This remind the ending of this reminds me of like Reservoir Dogs. <laughs> oh, hey, everybody! Got, <laughs> how everybody kind of took each other out. At everybody the end. killed everybody, and the one guy that killed mm-hmm. him at the end was probably the only good cop because he was he seemed like that was Mark, Mark Wahlberg, right? Mark Wahlberg. Yeah. yeah, he was the only real legitimate cop that was actually trying to figure out what was going on. Who was trying to find who the rat was. Yeah, was who the rat to... was and, and who, like, this whole ring situation, everything that was going on, he was just legitimately trying to figure it out. And I also think the part that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio played also was legitimately, like, Maybe he had a, a history, like a family history of like all these bad people doing things in his family, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. but he wasn't that guy. That's why they was talking to him the way that they was talking to him when he graduated the academy. That's why they was like, oh, you're a Southie. We know your dad. Mm-hmm. They X, Y, Z, this and this and this and this. Right. But then on the flip side of that, um, <clears throat> Cost, not Costigan because that was William, um, but, but the guy that played, not Mark Wahlberg. The other guy. The, the, Matt Damon. Yeah. Matt Damon's character. They were kind of like looking at him like he was already prestigious when he came out of the police academy. Looking at him, holding him to like a higher standard, mm-hmm. ready to bring him to detective. So yeah. you kind of already saw like the inner workings of, of that department already like straight out of the gate. Yeah, but it. I don't know if they knew that they were putting a detective like him in place just because they just thought he was just like you said... He had the name. He kind of he was clean. Yeah, all that stuff. But they didn't really know like anything about the type of person that he was because even going back to when the movie first started, it seems like, uh, what's his name again? He was already being groomed by Frank. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's Frank. Because <laughs> Frank. Yeah. So in essence, it's like he's been doing this. Like this is what he do. Like this is ultimately his profession. He was just. Caught up in it. Like, he just really got caught up in it. And Frank really pulled him in. And that's crazy because for him to know him as a kid and bring him up into something like this. He uh, he already kind of was grooming him from, like, whatever age that he met him in that store. Mm -hmm. Frank was already, like, like a neighborhood gangster. He already had, like, a reputable name, like, in the neighborhood. And then I think another key fact, too, Mark Wahlberg is actually from Boston, which is... Kind of ironic too. Yeah, for him being in this, he, he's from that. Boston too. Okay, and then one lady, like I said, I know for sure. I, I, when I looked at her long enough, I'm like, she's from the, the Conjuring. Conjuring one and the Conjuring two. Yeah. So I kept looking at her, and I'm like, she looks completely different though. Like her hair looks, she looks a lot younger too. Yeah, because this was 2006. Yeah, I think, and then the Conjuring was probably maybe five or six years later. Okay, somewhere around in there. Yeah. But yeah, when you said that, I was like, who is she? (laughs) 
Yeah. But yeah, this was a very, really, really good movie. I, I probably got to watch this again just to maybe a couple of times to like be able to pick up on some other things because it it, it was a lot of things in this movie that kind of like, it, it was a lot of layers to everything that was going on in the movie as far as like the corruption. Yeah. So I would have to watch it again just to get the, just to get a, a better understanding of everybody's like role and how they play in regards to like the police station, uh, the informant <laughs> snitches and things like that too. Yeah. You know what I mean? But this was, this I was, thought it was really, a good movie. really good. Yeah, it was a good movie. Yeah. Yo, y'all put us <laughs> y'all put us on to a classic. This yeah. is definitely a classic with all these heavy hitter actors in it, man. This was really, really good. I agree. I agree. So y'all tap in. Let us know what y'all think about this down in the comment section. And if y'all enjoyed it, give us a big thumbs up. Like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Absolutely. And if ain't nobody else told you, I love you. And we're gonna see y'all in the next video. Y'all. Peace and blessings, y'all. Yeah. Take it easy. Bye.